Ever since Doom Eternal has come out, the heavy weapons dude, or chain gunner, whatever you want to call him, has been at the forefront of conversation in regards to the demons. The chain gunner is the only original enemy from Doom to not appear in Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal, and fans want to see his return badly. For me, I think it's more so an OCD thing, where all of the classic Doom monsters should have a modern day interpretation, and the chain gunner feels like a missing ingredient. However, there are also fans who have gone to great lengths explaining why the chain gunner would make perfect sense to put in Doom Eternal, and they have designed concept art, wrote ideas about how he would play in the combat arena, etc. There have been countless Reddit posts, tweets, and YouTube videos about the Chain Gunner's potential return in Doom Eternal, with Under the Mayo's video getting the most traction recently. As well as Peter, who made his own video on the subject matter, they both explained how he could be approached in Doom Eternal, and I'm all for their ideas. The general consensus is that if they put the Chain Gunner in Doom Eternal, he should be a projectile based demon, and I think this is the most likely scenario. That being said, if the Chain Gunner returned as a hit scan demon, he could wind up being very overpowered, similar to his classic Doom counterpart. I personally love the Chain Gunner from Classic Doom, because because he was that wild card who could end your run at any moment with his hitscan abilities. This was especially the case in Plutonia, where the Kasali brothers knew exactly where to place them to give players the most trouble. The Chain Gunner is a pain in the ass, and they have to stay that way if they ever get brought into Doom Eternal. He should be the fodder demon that I am still cautious to fight, because most of the other fodder enemies in Doom Eternal are pushovers once you get a couple of levels in. The Chain Gunner needs to be thrown in with a clear purpose, and whether he's introduced in The Ancient Gods Part 2 or a brand new Doom game, there needs to be enough utility for him to exist. The demon ecosystem in Doom Eternal is pitched perfect and each enemy builds upon the combat loop, and I want the chain gunner, if he's ever included, to do the same. There was some concept art recently posted by Dino for Wolves, and it's brilliant, and I wanted to discuss it. If they had a purple goo launcher, then they would instantly be a threat, because if any of it touches you, it'll cripple your movement. You being able to move fast is one of your biggest assets in Doom Eternal, so if that gets taken away from you by an enemy, that could be an interesting gameplay dynamic. I also agree with this version of the Chain Gunner being very resistant to Ballista Shots and Precision Bolts, because they are two very powerful tools that players kinda like to spam. I've seen many Doom Eternal players use this combo, and if we can get them to switch up their approach using this new demon, that would be great. The Ancient Gods DLC is all about breaking up players' habits, so if a Chain Gunner was included in Part 2, then I can definitely see him being resistant to the Heavy Cannon and Ballista. If id Software can program a way for lock-on rockets to not be effective on the Chain Gunner like the concept art reads as well, then I would love that too. Maybe these Chain Gunners can detect when lock-on rockets are aimed at them and they can shoot the rockets out of the sky before they hit them or something. That being said, I am floored by this fan concept art for the Chain Gunner, and if id Software design him anything like this and throw him in the game, then I would have nothing to complain about. The purple goo launcher is the aspect of this chain gunner design that I am most interested in. It would add some much needed context to the purple sludge that's already in Doom Eternal, and the purple goo in the base campaign would also brace players for the chain gunner. It would make players a little nervous fighting the chain gunner, since they don't want their movement getting thrown out of a window, so they'll have to be extra careful when dancing around the arena. Shout out to Diner for Wolves for this excellent concept art and I'm very impressed with the amount of detail and work that went into this. Please go follow him on social media, as well as the other channels I mentioned earlier who also made a Chain Gunner video. I know I'm not the first one to make a video, but I think the Chain Gunner returning is an exciting idea if it makes sense within the context of Doom Eternal's combat. I don't want to just have every demon getting thrown into Doom Eternal for no reason, but I doubt id Software will add any that didn't completely fit into the enemy ecosystem. Like I said, each demon complements each other, and there are many demon combinations that work best to challenge the player. 
with the Ancient Gods Part 1, the Shield Zombies and Possessed Demons worked because they are completely at odds with each other. You want to kill the Shield Zombies with the Plasma Rifle because you know that's a great way to kill them and it creates an explosion when they die. But you also need Plasma Cells to destroy the Spirit. So the cogs in your brain begin turning more and more and that's what we need more of in Doom Eternal. And if the Chain Gunner can provide that, then I would love to see him in the game. Thanks for watching.